wanders stand in their way, looking up, looking to see if they can keep up that Copenhagen form. And well, Faye's going quick into up on this pistol round run right into Ema. He hits a couple of heads, final bullet tap out, and Navi just comes swinging through. Rain and Rob's feast for a moment. Not over. Two on two as they fall in at the back of the side. Jay on unknown about firing off with a missed shot. Bit can't connect, and it's Rain to save this pistol round with four kills on the Glock. Oh, Jayon made a meal of that one. He was baited out by his teammate. He almost became invisible. Down to play their opponent's game. And I guess you could say that makes these runs even more impressive, but this rifle round gets off to a back and forth start into the three on three. Can't believe Rob squeezed that kill out onto JL right before he got checked by Alexi. It's a very messy start. And Navi is losing track of who's where and what's open and what's not. Frozen actually did a silent climb off of Silo. That's not easy. He managed to make it down to T-Roof without making a sound. That's so the right bomb now, That's the bomb. Navi coming back into the lobby. Walk into Frozen. It's just Alexi left outside. They know where he was. Two kills already for the Finn. FaZe do a lot of like mid-round decisions on the back of like one piece of utility having like three or four different outcomes as to how they can play around with that, right? He's flashed, he's oh. lost, he's lost track of the CTs, but he's thread the needle, oh. finds the kill onto him, and Wonderful is ignoring the fight with the AWP. Flash out, they know they're flying in off the back of that. Rob just steals with them as they fall into their teammates' Molotov at the back of the site. Great realization from Rob. When you see that flash come out from main, you know what that means. You, that means they're flying through that heaven smoke. Navi try and catch FaZe while they're setting up before they've got that bomb down. Smoke the heaven, Molly. Jump in. Oh, Alexi, good position here for one, but the trade immediately picked up from Rain. 4v4 with Rain still alive out in the yard. That's going to keep Wonderful preoccupied for a moment on this AWP. Oh, he needs this boom. shot and he will connect it. Rain dead. Wonderful gets back. He's now able to try hold on a ramp, but Frozen is clean with it. Phase dropped down towards lower. Bit already down here. And this guy's had a big uptick in performance ever since the Major. Let's see if Bit can hold on. They're too close. Kill from the guy, but they're oh. right here. They're right on top of him. Bit. Anchors down this B site. He's low. He needs help. His teammate's still a ways away. And so that's going to give over the one kill to Rops. 35 seconds to work with. He hears this rotation in through ramp. Going to go looking oh, for it, but the Molly's well placed. And JL gets on the board in round number seven. I like Finding the, Na'Vi there first. I like the Molly swing, I will say. Rops is trying to keep his opponent guessing. He knows he's actually gotten into the corner. In comes the util, in comes the push. Wonderful, quick on that AWP, and there's layers of defense here for Na'Vi. This is looking good in the hold. Alexi, that's real clean, and that leaves it all on Brokey. He's got the space to drop down lower here. He's going to have a bomb plant. That much should be a guarantee, but they're quick to rush down the vent, and now they've closed the gap. Those extra few seconds searching for Brokey. Leave him shy on time and shy on chances. That one connects, but not the killing blow. I also like how Na'Vi are playing in these anti-clutch situations. They're not giving FaZe anything, right? Even in that Rops round where he's mid B bomb site when he kills Bit. Same set of UT we were talking about, the pressure, and here comes Rops again. Yeah, straight through the smoke, but once more caught off guard by Main. FaZe attempt to run back this fast top hit. They're going to live to regret it. Na'Vi starting to streak together some rounds here. Pick up a bit of speed. Frozen. Tries going out through the hut just to get that bomb. And he will get his hands back on it at least. So that gives FaZe something to play for in this 2v4. Ooh. Oh, Brokey on borrowed time now. Spam down real low. Good luck. He's going to do well to get out of this round with anything. Nice crosshair placement, but they could just spam it again. He swings out, missed shot. Frozen has the gap, but Na'Vi have been fine to concede positions. And in a 4v1 like this, what can Frozen really do? He's left the back so door open. So damage Frozen can do worth its weight in gold. They are all grouped up here over at the double doors. And Frozen is dealt with straight away. Bit is full control over this lower site in every round they've needed him. Well, the biggest threats are right here on this half of the bracket. So Ooh, it's got to start strong for Na'Vi. And right now, FaZe with his cobbled by, have made it work. Double entry, Carrigan is behind He's got him, he's got him booked. Like this should be a Outside's been a nightmare for Na'Vi. And Hello. I can see kind of sick seeing Carrigan rising up the board yeah. and putting in some great individual form as well. He is a, a bit of a point to prove right after the kind of shock horror ending to that, that major final. Had some statistically very good maps here at Pro League as Carrigan. Uh, kind of fall apart up on the stage. 
So he wants to set the record straight, and it's him who helps put that round on the board with two kills out in the yard. But this is also something we're talking about, you know, in, in the Monty game as well, which is great to watch Carrigan do. He's fine to just sell himself to set his team up for trades. He's so good at that. And some, when he gets the entry on top of that, it's just it's a beautiful round because he's fine to play that sacrificial lamb role. Frozen runs the Molly. Carrigan up close with a flick, and that just makes your life so much easier. That's the clash of the captains out in the yard. Carrigan bests him. Bit oh already drops God. down lower. Oh. And Bit has been a bit of a beast down here on this B bomb site. Frozen See out ya. into the watchful eyes of wonderful ZWP. As Navi look to bring out five to close out this half. It's all eyes on Carrigan. 1v3, bomb lost, minute left to play with, even though Carrigan's got a reputation as a bit of a clutcher. This is asking a hell of a lot. He should have this first kill on JL, but he just oh. turns back in time. And so five will be put up from the Na'Vi squad as in the later stages of that first half, they are able to find their way. T-side pistol now for Na'Vi. They were able to find a, a, a serious... Oh, they got the name wrong on this. <laughs> oh, I'm here with Jason Moses O'Toole. Wow. Matthew, I respect you if that means anything. But it does mean something. Okay, well, there I you gotta go. say, I like that. No, maybe Hugo doesn't, but you do. No, I and do. That's, the half, that's half of the fucking pair. That's great. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> it's a good win. Right. This vent, is, this vent is made of Swiss cheese. It's full of holes. Navi have crept their way down to B. They have managed to sneak on down, and Imma's even trying to take control over the wards ramp, playing a close angle, but with JL deleted. At the first turn of Rops around oh, that corner. Blimey. That is a ludicrously what a blunder. Hold of the lower sight. Donovan. Donovan. Fuck, I hope you didn't realize. <laughs> fuck. Man, okay, it's a pistol round locked Harry. in for FaZe Clan. They're, my kids are watching. Yeah, sorry. Family show. Sorry to all seven of Hugo's kids. <laughs> <sighs> well, you Please said this back. looked like a Swiss cheese defense. It was more like a fondue because they all melted oh. when they tried to do that. Cheese jokes? Yeah, I mean, me rematch? I would it? have to be able to have a few references, There's right? A otherwise, few more. A four in the right place, right time, but Rob's got to nail every one of these shots. Oh, oh and he will! Rob's makes it look easy! That's a Three parry. players into his crosshair, the bomb at his feet, and Rob's has safeguarded this round for FaZe Clan. Rain holds on to the yard, and it's just JL who started the round with a blinder of a Deeg shot. Even a follow-up oh, headshot, yeah, but they, they overwhelm him. I meant there, not yet, but it kind of fitted in anyway. Faze up on a nine. Show me that JL Teagle because I think you've nailed that, Harry. I think you've hit it on the head, much like JL did. It's the antidote to the too much caffeine yesterday. They've removed movement as an option entirely. Out in towards the top site. There it but is. There's the aggression in through the lobby. Easy. Robs and Carrigan strike in tandem. Carrigan. Ooh, throws himself into the fight, but the rest of the team are there to back him up every wow. step of the way. And with Rops and Rain finding success across the board, Eleven gets locked in for phase in a runaway rifle round. Na'Vi have now got nothing. This is a very weird round where Na'Vi don't realize that they are walking into a setup on this site. Brokey stopped the ramp plug, and Rops now can piece it together. They must be nearby. Yeah, he has to consider the possibility. He knows he was taking a, a very passive, very discipline angle down there, so this might be it. I'm pretty curious how oh. him is meant to even fit into That's this. That's a tell. He's here to cut vent rotates, but at this point that doesn't matter because Harvey... Oh, okay, they do get that entry. Yes, Robs to stop the party though, puts the bomb down oh, and, and saves this game, stops it in fact, in its tracks. Ima nowhere to go but Mirage. Yeah, Na'Vi are going to have to bounce back on the next. Top fragging Carrigan and Rops. They're about to steal his thunder right at the end here. Was the guy to bring the victory over to FaZe to open up this series. FaZe in a rematch, and they mean business. 13 to 5 is a dominant lead to take heading into Mirage. Can come back in this series. Mirage is going to be the playground. And Reigns already got his first kill nice and easy. Execute coming in. He's the only one home. Bish bash bosh, they're in the bomb site. Rain Ooh. still takes two before he falls. Great work for the solo player while they have a heavy B stack. That smoke will keep pressure on. What a luxury to have Rain as an A player. Just solo against five on an execute, grabbing two kills for you. That's so perfect. Yeah, Na'Vi looking to steal this pistol away right at the bitter end, but they don't clear oh, spawn. Brokey oh, misses his no. shot. And Na'Vi arrive to the second map in style. Can they close it cleanly? There's no kit right now. They need the kills. FaZe move in for it. Oh, Carrigan swung on him. Rob's left up in this one all alone. As Na'Vi look poised to return a form in that pistol. And now let's meet the competition. 
That was cleanly done for Robs. If a heavy B lean here for FaZe that's quickly been dismantled. The Alexi Classic of going B, but now going A. Might come back to haunt them here. Robs another oh, kill on this SMG, and they're gonna look to overwhelm the connector. But it gets activated, oh. but Brokey puts him down. And so FaZe are able to respond early on Mirage. That was cleanly done for Robs. We have a heavy B lean here for FaZe that's quickly been dismantled. The Alexi Classic of going B, but now going A. Might come back to haunt them here. Robs another oh, kill on this SMG, and they're gonna look to overwhelm the connector. But it gets activated, oh. but Brokey puts him down. And so FaZe are able to respond early on Mirage. Oh, Rain's gonna be challenged again. He must come through Ooh. the Molotov, and he gets punished. Palace Pop coming in next. Frozen got the info, Rain gets out with a double kill in defense of this A site. He's always been good for the multi. And that's gonna bring FaZe right back into the fold here. 3v2 as that Bam. bomb gets planted. Yeah. Brokey swinging out, is gonna deal with Alexi and the follow-up kill on a wonderful... Uh, Rain is worth his weight in gold right here in this A defense, man. Yeah. Every time he's been tested, he's been getting out with these multi kills and it's keeping FaZe and their hope of retaking the A site alive. Dude, it's always one of the conversation on Rain is like how, just how valuable he is despite not being like an ultra high profile star player is just like, just consistent, smart play, gets his double. Oh, Brokey at a mid spawn. Dangerous, dangerous to give this guy the mid spawn. Tries his hand at the timing shot. But they will manage to get out. That Double push over at Catwalk. Carrigan throws himself into the fray, oh. but great flashes provided from Emma. Nets Alexi a double with Rops wow. dead. Look Nothing at the HP. Pulled up, but everyone's super low. Brokey <laughs> is mental as well. Important to bear that in mind. He hears Alexi on this push out through middle. Where's he gone? Alexi's eluded capture. Navi are going B, and Brokey makes noise with the scope there as he swings in. Alexi's got his number. Navi, that was still a stressful end into the round when you're in a 3v1 like that and everyone's 20 HP. Alexi counts his lucky stars that he gets the footsteps and that forward info on the mid push. Yeah. He's about to find out. Peak his advantage? No, not against Brokey. Frozen gets found in the meantime. And Wonder, uh, Emo rather is working in the connector. <laughs> These orbs are just waiting and shooting. Yeah, the confidence as well, FaZe. Uh, that's got to be Rops doing a little bit of homework just to transition into Palace and just play back turn to it. He caught JL and just says, there's, there's nobody else home. No. I'll chill up here, nice and safe. Oh, and the molly on the smoke. Everything's going wrong right now. Turrets reigning oh, supreme. Damn. That's all orbs in that round. Get him. Uh, Frozen's checking that window boost as well. Timing is everything. He gives it up. The rain can explode Whoa! from the palace. Three kills from the king. Four on two. And that rifle already wounded. It's going to get worse. Rain on for the ace oh! right now. He's so, he's so stylish, man. So good at shooting. Get Look him. at this. Get Go him. On, tap, tap. Rain with all five in the round. One mag is all that's needed. It's causing massive problems for Navi. A second time out used early. Easy spray transfer. JL never really turns around for him. They've really, their game plan has been all over A, right? Whether it's his late comebacks from B short or just going for another step and he's dead. Brokey's eventually going to have to recommit through window. How will that timing fare? Carrigan going first, throwing himself in. Alexi jumps for the kill, and he will fall short. Bit must save this round on his lonesome now. On the stairs, puts them down a peg. It's going to be Carrigan spammed out. Bit he's got a couple of flashes, but here's that late flank from B, and FaZe put it in a box shaped like a coffin. Oh my lord, this is uh, this Ooh. is starting to look rough for Navi. Carrigan up on catwalk, got two encroaching on his position. Yeah. Can't handle the peak. This can go oh. very wrong. Oh, Rain spammed back the other way. Alexi will slow his roll. Oh, they try oh. to break the shot out of Brokey. Brokey's orb. Reposition into the back of the site, and Brokey's taking heads off now. Frozen joins the ranks of this B defense. Too oh. strong here, but Brokey will oh. get overran. Bombers to cross. Bombers to get past Frozen. Robs it. now owns the angle on that AWP. It's a dink down range from the M4 oh. and a missed shot from the Robs Orb. He pulls out the sidearm. 
Tries to close the distance now, but this is going to be clean. They've seen him. Only one of these players is... Oh! Brooks, that's so close! The JL just keeps that round in check for Na'Vi. I thought he was getting it. Yeah. I thought he was going to get it with Kills the USP. The full health player. <laughs> oh, that was right there for the taking. Window and under. I've never seen this setup in my life. And wonderful gone and all. Oh. Tries his hand, but you're not getting through the secondary of phase. All right, Rops going back, double dipping. Bro, double orb connector Ooh. from double orb window to double orb con. One of them gone. Brokey's out of there. They know so both like, positions. Yeah, look, okay, look, we're doing really good, but if we're double orb and con for too Ooh. long, that's just throwing. Here we are, Brokey, okay. three positions into the jungle. And well, Strike taking back control of the connector area. Ooh. JL. He was a guy to safe, safeguard oh, that last attempt at the clutch. Oh. Good damage still on a Frozen. Brings no, it down super low. Frozen, oh yeah, Frozen doesn't have Frozen forgot to buy Kevlar. Uh -huh. Okay, so this one could still get weird. <laughs> JL would need an ace clutch, and he's got to get past yeah. the Brokey AWP. Brokey Easier so. said than done as Brokey locks it in with a hat trick. I actually love the... Uh, like, it's crazy, for sure, but putting the double orb... The, Orb buddy system. Dominating yes. Na'Vi. Gonna try come through the ramp smoke. Oh, they blew it open! They blew it open! Brokey wanted all these kills for himself! In at the back of the site, or pulled! Quick flick from Brokey! Oh. Tries his hand at the no-scope. It looked close on the smoke, but two on two now. Na'Vi have battled their way through. Frozen and Carrigan have had a free ride thus far in the map. They're the ones who have got to close out this 2v1. Wonderful threads the needle to get past Carrigan, but it goes both ways, and there's the backstab. Eight rounds locked in for FaZe Clan. Hasn't been much to look forward to for, for Na'Vi. It's been ugly, no doubt about it. Can someone put a smile on our face? Everyone's blind in the sight. The Carrigan opens up oh, another entry. Right, that's better. Wonderful, he heard your name, Ooh. but he forgot his. Two kills, full short, frozen oh. fights from apartment, now, squeezing shots. He doesn't necessarily have to take, but frozen. That was like trying to play with some large phallus energy there. Eighteen oh. and four on Brokey. What's he got? Carrigan, the masterclass right now. Oh, oh. goodness! Oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Malta. They, yeah. did, they had so little faith in Carrigan, they kept changing off of him. Look at this. They got more excited for this than Reigns Ace. This is why he gets the P250. <laughs> well, let's introduce our favorite team. You'll know him, you'll love him. It's FaZe. It's so admirable the way that this FaZe team is like consistently mid in group stages, above yeah. mid, yeah. and then just escalate things. I love that they're all, well, I don't know if I love this, maybe that's too strong of a word. But they always talk about how exhausted they are while simultaneously taking the longest routes possible to get to every final. Okay. Wonderful, this has been a really sick double kill, but I have no faith in it going any- Oh! 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 He hit the ding! Damn! If Carrigan was low, that was going to be an ace-full eco. Imagine if I fucking said that, Imagine and then he, and then he wins it. the round yeah. 1v4. Yeah. You still don't know about the wonderful AW. Oh, yeah. Carrigan. Carrigan. Oh, the oh, timing oh, back turned on JL. And oh. nearly the follow-up onto Alexi. Frozen might be able to pick this up in his Got stead. It. Brokey on the rotate in. The orb now takes the line over towards the market, but they're looking for this short kill. Brokey collects. They learn about the AWP now as Brokey is thrown into a 1v3 clutch. Tag down low from the short side. Im has done great damage here. Brokey going to be hard pressed to find a way back into this round. And so Na'Vi will pick up the pieces in their first rifle round to find a fifth. They're going to try hunt him down, but that's what the top mid players are hoping for. Give me the kill, Rain. No helmet, and he one taps out Ema with a Glock. Going back for more. Oh! Wonderful skulls on offer as well, but bit clinical with his AK-47 puts them all to bed. Okay, all right. Something gets provided. JL and Khan wins the first, gets traded. Oh, oh, that's a shot and a half though. Wonderful drops on Cat. My God, rain is crisp today, and that spray saves right. it against Alexi B. So right, phase move up catwalk, <laughs> and this setup from Harry. It's been a tee up. It's been a knockdown from Phase. It was a beautiful picture, though. It's it a nice uh, setup from Howie, bro. Rain is <laughs> destroying them right now. <laughs> oh, Phase statement. I mean, you know, I don't want to jump too far forward, but I'm just going to say it. Do we have that phase mouse rematch?
That, needless to say, is going to cause you issues. If yeah. Who are the stars of Navi? Who are the three stars Ooh. to speak of? Uh, by my money, well, actually, I was counting one to four, and I guess he does have less kills than him here. I didn't see that. So, <laughs> two out of three. I was going to say JL, Wonderful, and Bit would be my pick. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think Eam is meant to be in that conversation. He just isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Dead oh, over towards the spawn. Wonderful. wonderful. Clean on the AK. It's a frozen is left in the clutch. He's got ice in his veins, that's frozen. <laughs> Let's see what he can do here. Little reposition. Not an opera frozen. Very that's, nice. That's he's, nothing to do with it. He's cool as a cucumber here, setting the sight, waiting. Holding his breath, Harry. Yeah, but he's dead. It's a nice try. We all saw what he was trying to... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, but he's dead. Let's go yeah, back to maybe. Him, Maybe I'm on the bench. Oh, they don't fine. know. Frozen gets it down to a 1v1. It's just wonderful left to be. Whoa. Into the spray and wonderful. We'll pick up four to make that round happen for Navi. If only there was a word I could use to describe that play from wonderful. I just can't quite think of one. Four players without head armor on the Navi side as well. So those Galils oh, and the MAC-10 yes. can do some work. Missed shot from wonderful. Cut Meg right through the legs, but JL's here to close them. Two kills in middle. Make Damn. it three. Ema comes flying out under. Yeah, that's more like it, Ema. So they do really well to actually, you know, wrangle that round back. For Blade's happy. Yeah. He's given a class. He should be. Oh, oh my god, wait. Wait. Oh, wait. Wait. No! Caragon! Caragon! Caragon? That hurts. That hurts for Carrigan. It's just Brokey. And as he swings into the double fight over in mid, Emma in these last few rounds has had mid under lock and key. What are you supposed to do? How do you wait in this position? <sighs> JL finds one. Rain's moving too slowly. He's gone down. Rops disappears in the smoke, but only goes for one. And just like that, Navi, one round away wow. from evening it up. To close this game out right here, right now. Yeah, a little... Oh! Rain, he's so good. Any more? Swing out from the window. Get he out. is the all fire off right now. He's still oh, he on the island, three. and he's seen all three players over it. here in middle. The rest of Faye is trying to get out through ramp. But wonderful Zorb watches on from That's jungle. Great. They deal with bit over the top of the stairs. Wonderful repositions. Alexi down in connector. Rain fully rerouting all the way through the spawn. Oh, go on, wonderful. You've got a perfect position, but he can't catch it. Molly is good. It's going to flash out that player from back of the side. Frozen's got to fight for this one. He's got supporting He's utility and teammates, and Rops is still above the balcony. Maybe Wonderful now knows. Given away. They can go for this. No money issues oh. for Na'Vi, but another miss from Wonderful. One bullet left up. He doesn't check. He doesn't check. He's found it. It's got to be a reload or a pistol. Na'Vi are on the clock. Rain started this round with a blinder. Oh. Him and Rops are here to try and end it, and Wonderful had chances to deal with Rops up in oh. Palace. <laughs> Nails Rain in at ramp. It's just Rops left to beat, but Rops calls his bluff, takes it to time, and 12 match and series point is locked in by FaZe Clan as Rops and Rain deliver all the kills needed. Unreal shots from Wonderful, though. Despite the misses, he almost saves it for Na'Vi, but Rain and Rops, the deadliest duo, the double oh. tap in middle, and then Rops just, like you said, calling a bluff ice cold. That's such a fun clip if you're a Palace player to like go watch how Rops plays that, because like he's like lined up the... JL, Wonderful's taking the attention away. JL's position gets even stronger now. And with Rain dead, moving in up through short, Brokey found in the apartments. It's only Rops and Carrigan, but look at Carrigan's position. Look at this guy. No no he somehow no snuck all the way here. Nah. Emma will turn to try and deal with it. One kill from Carrigan, but three strong over inside of the site for Na'Vi. Carrigan locked out and Rops left in this all alone. Nah. Orp watches on from bench. I love this for Na'Vi against one of the most passive, slow-playing T-side players. They will not move a muscle, and they await over time. Okay, through the smoke is a problem, because Wonderful might not see this, but Carrigan runs out, JL gets caught, rain traded. Crisis averted, but for how long? Wonderful, that day blows up the smoke. Not enough to find Ema, though. Three on three, phase mid-control and uncontested for a moment. They can breathe. This is such a sick game because it's both sides are being so dynamic with how they're playing. Uh, this round, right, you had three players essentially ready to fight mid from either side. 
And it's this all-in brawl early that FaZe have been able to win out. And now they set their eyes on the B site. Alexi will get tested here. Oh, Line up wow. over on short. Brokey can't finish this. It takes Frozen swinging out to save the day. 2v2. Oh, and Brokey now gets activated over towards the short side. It's just Immer up through the catwalk. Spots the Benz player. Sees Frozen there. Frozen had a highlight moment Surely not. in that matchup yesterday versus Monty from bench, from this exact position. And with Brokey's orb now yes. on the line as well, it is a very safe, capable pair of hands. Moves off. Navi is so all in on this mid fight. They are so ready to deal with this. Rain has got a huge Big task health. ahead of him. It and even doesn't. though he follows up with a lot of damage, they will overwhelm him in middle. But in the, re in the meantime, the rest of FaZe are putting in work. Trying to oh. take control of the A site. Rob's burning. Gets out with one and a half. Emma plays ahead of the util. This is a brawl. 2v2 now with the bomb planted. Frozen. Swing and wide, damage done under the connector player, sneaking through oh. it, bench, Emma is punished. And now Alexi's got to do it alone. 1v2 required. 1v2 asked of him. And once more, Brokey might be the great denier, the one here to put a stop to it as Alexi goes up and over the stairs. Ooh. Missed shot from the orb. No. And Alexi oh. will answer the call in the clutch. Sick round from Alexi. I'm loving, I, this is why Mirage is one of the best maps might have to be some window boosting instead. JL, talk of the matter. He's going up and over. Fantastic shot. Five on four, and they walk through their own oh. smoke to their own demise. Rain, a little mistake, goes a long way, and now FaZe need to hit the shot out A. There's wonderful from Ticket again, right? Just being the, the, the bane of FaZe's existence in these A plays. Whenever he's posted, Ooh. that all feels like it's good to take all the momentum out of the site here. It might have been spotted, but not dealt with, and that leaves Brokey all alone. JL finds him, and Na'Vi take back-to-back -back rounds in the first half of overtime. Just the one and done. Rob's on the reposition out the middle, had to hit that, and with him a dead. This double orb setup that did phase so well in the first half. Looks to bring them Ooh, back Robs. into the fold. Robs makes a move! <laughs> taking a page out of Brokey's book! Robs backstabbed by Bit, but it's promptly traded and dealt with. Wonderful. What can you do? Nothing oh, oh. to do, nothing to find, and it's the orbs again! <laughs> Navi just don't have a solution to them! I mean, Robs, I've never seen Robs make a play like that in my life. He answers your question immediately. Uh, can he play retail? He's, like, he's been can watching he Brokey it? demos. Exactly. He's been playing arms race. He just did what Ema did to him as well, which is yeah. run through the con util and chase him down with the orb. He just knows throwing the chaos into that round. If I can get one more kill out rather than letting Navi set up post plant positions and I get one for one here in a 4v3, that's perfect. That's all that I need to do. He also reads Ema top mid, which I won't say is like a difficult read. This is exactly what this guy does on A splits. He comes late through middle. Oh, this B site is not an easy place to end right now, but it is the two weakest players for FaZe. Can Brokey cut down the bomb, however? There's Frozen making it clear it is coming towards B. He's going to peek in right now. Might catch Alexi. They line up for a second. Alexi gets that kill. Carrigan dropping off as they enter in. Can Brokey stop that cross? That's all that matters right now. Rain got one through the smoke. That slowed things down. Now they know it's committed here. Kerrigan's in a little bit of trouble. Oh. Catches bit in the jump. There it is. And that forces Wonderful's hand. So yet again, FaZe have a chance to close out the series. Oh my goodness. Alexi could get finished off by the util, but the nades just sail on past him. Brokey's going to try to take up middle, but him is snuck out through lower. Sees an arm, but has to take so much more out of the round. With Rain dead, Brokey. Repels the first man who attempts to entry out through connector. Now has a lot to handle as they're already out through a ramp. Navi are looking for another overtime, another chance in this second map. Carrigan and Frozen, they've been the two struggling. And they're the ones Ooh. left trying to retake this with damage done no, earlier. No Double way. up from no Carrigan. Way. Carrigan wants his revenge. Oh. Carrigan destroys Na'Vi and saves them in a 2v4 to take the victory for FaZe. They will keep battling through the playoffs. And for Na'Vi, the journey ends here. That was insane. That was an epic ending to an insane series for Na'Vi just falling shy of one more overtime. For FaZe, they've got their captain to thank as he did the impossible, essentially. So we'll see now, we'll see. It's it's a very, very different game when you move into the playoffs, but we are indeed moving into the playoffs. A quick move coming out from G2 here. Lucky ready for it on the Julies. As is Maka, he comes flying in from above and indeed he will take the names.
the Julies, three sets of them across the board there for the CT side, finding great success. A real chaotic start there, right? My God, flying out a single door um, straight into the fight. And hey, a throwaway round too, in a way, right? Low buy, no real kind of commitment to that one. Now into the full buy, AK back out on Hunter again, flying into the fight. Hoopsie is calling a very quick tempo of Counter-Strike, but it's not working out. Gravity and Exus sees for the first double. Can't quite make it the third, but Gravity should try but messes it up and next it gets a freebie but look where lucky is Let's in behind oh no trigger discipline from him oh, he jumped with the gun slightly i think he could have gotten away with an easy two piece next are on low hp right but and an orp you've not got a kit here either okay. for the french side oh my goodness smacker however gets the catch 2v1 on the cards, not a lot of time to play with. Munasi is certainly not the guy you want to be facing off against in this situation either. Good timing to drop one. And now just up against Maka. He picked up AK. There's a smoke down onto the double doors. Munasi, oh, through the smoke, takes him out. Just that ridiculous, sixth sense coming ridiculous in from the stuff gun. coming through. Nay to try and preemptively break the smoke, but he actually goes a little deep. Decision got to be made. They're going to go for a double push out secret here. Both are going to die, surely. First actually gets caught on the MP9. Nico, two points of HP. He is barely alive. XSC doesn't get caught. Nexa has got to confirm those kills. And the fact that he does is now thrown this round into jeopardy. Nico solo. So a lot of this feels like he's relying on Hunter. He will get his first. Jocko. Will he trade? Actually, he doesn't even show his face. Just going to double back and... Not give the fights towards Nico. Really not a lot of time to get anything going. There goes the bomb, and there goes the round. So it's just Mr. Hunter. What is his game plan here? Going to take a gun away, but yeah, no real option but to save. You can see the sigh of annoyance kind of thing, the little tut at the end. What can you do type vibe, at least for Hunter individually. On the back of Hunter. Hope he can really do something about this. They're popping out, though. Coming through XSC for the first. The MP9 on the swing. Spotting one. According to Mind. is actually more expensive than they would hope, but they line up. Marco and Jocko can drop them. 3D Max will find yet another round, but a little bit more expensive than they would have hoped. A little wild. Nico trying to track here, trying to close gaps. Actually gets bested by Gravity from the side. He's caught reloading on a trade. But enough carnage. 3D Max have got so many bodies around outside here. Exorcist out to take another fight as well. Nexa. Maka making a move as well. I'm going to find Nexa thrusting Manessi into a very difficult 1v3. Looks for the first, but misses. As he repositions in through Hart. He's dancing between the angles and surely not got a chance here. Waiting as he gets hunted down. Misses the second chance as well. Glock pulled out, but it's not enough. And 3D Max are going to find themselves yet another round. It's unfortunately just so far not good enough for G2. They are looking very all over the place. So he can hold all of these rotations down towards the B side, but Hunter and Manessi still going to make a move here and look towards our side. Lucky waiting in through gap. And now Manessi in such a tough spot. Look at the time as well, 30 seconds. Nexa has to make a move to try and help Manessi outside. Fine from Manessi. Nice find from Nexa on the response. That unknown quantity that you talked about comes up. Trumps in the end as Maka drops him. Munasi, a desperate attempt to plant here, but they were very ready for him. Seven to one. What is happening here? Lucky going for a super passive hold and should get one for free. And he does. Second was there, but just caught off guard by Nico. So back into a three versus three. Hunter holding for this push out from door, but XSC smoked. Might get caught though. Flash going to be dropped. They're trying to get out of there desperately and Hunter going to be caught by it. Time is ticking. This bomb has to go down. And look at it. They're not even sticking it. Four seconds. They haven't got time. That's it. It was left outside. Yeah. It was left outside, bro. Like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's rough. I mean, I guess they were already in on the move. You know, it kind of tough for them to... So they're going to gain a lot of control quite quickly. Maka is here on the defense. Ooh, I was going to say it's a well-placed smoke. Unfortunately, just no sense of the timing for 3D Max there. Not respecting how quickly they could be up. And, you know, uh, they didn't necessarily waste any time clearing angles and stepping around, walking around. They just zoomed straight in. 
Looking good here, isn't it? 3D Max has maybe got numbers, I suppose, but weaponry-wise, not the greatest. Look, very, very clean stuff. G2, maybe that's all they needed, a uh, shift up in the pace. Still not going to be the prettiest of halves from them, we must admit, but four rounds. Creeping round, spotted out. They know exactly where he's at now, so should absolutely have this one in the bag. And none of it really matters so long as G2 get it over the line, which they do. Eight to four, the turn of the half. A fantastic showing from 3D Max. Let's see what the T side looks like for them now. Catch you in a few. It's going to be a bit of a masterclass on the rifles. Yeah, let's take a look and see. Hooks, going to try and get up close here. And he gets his head ripped off his shoulders. Hunter will answer back for one, but only. Bobby Crunch has come through as Manessi's got a flank. He's looking for a second kill. Is met with a Molotov. They should be able to get a plan here. But Nico's got other ideas as he finds a double and thrusts Maku into a tough 1v3. I don't know that they've fully confirmed or located the bomb. He goes in for a fake. Nico going to close the gap and indeed gets faked out. Down the vent, Maka goes. Nice little read here from him, actually. So I like the look of the 1v3. Ooh. He's a polite guy. Closes the door on the way out. And you know what? That maybe could have cost him his life. But Nexa not only fluffs it up, he also takes so much damage. But the kill comes in eventually. Maka, so, so close. And, you know, if he hadn't closed that door, he may well have been able to use it as an escape route. Hunter. Oh, such Molly. a good spot, but he's left blinded. The Molotov, however, yeah, it's maybe failed. Maybe that's just kind of what it does. They were expecting to run straight through it. However, because of Hunter's position, it has backfired massively. No more kills from the Molly, but the amount of team damage done there, I think, is going to be quite high. Hooksy, nice find up close. Jocko as well. Smoke starting to go down now, but he too will be found. The 3D Max T side is on thin ice right now. G2 all over them. Those are upgrades onto AKs as well, so kills worth their weight in gold. Maybe a little bit more. Just three remaining here for the Frenchman. No utility. I mean, yeah. what do you do? What do you do? They just have to get insanely lucky with some fights if they want to take this. The first fight towards Nico has to be flawless. They're then going to find Hunter on top hard. They might get a charge, but the Hooksy, other ideas. Two to his name, the third of gravity. It is not long for this world or this round. Seen off as G2. Make it a one round game. Punished for it. Quick burst out onto the A bomb site. Hooksy positioned well. Ooh, difficult spray down for him, but surely the rest of the team set up nicely to deal with this one. Just lucky remaining. Clean find there. We need the rounds. I don't think he's going to get that. Orb shot going to miss. He is a little isolated for the time being. And there you go. Tech Knight oh. closes him down. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's the kill. Oh, lucky. All skill involved here. One versus one against Nico. He does have a bit of time to work with. Nico has the belt of utility. Smoke, flash, and the nade. Time is ticking. Doesn't have a kit to work with. Has been heard as well above him. Oh my god, he's making a good move. And he's going to catch him. That is a ridiculous clutch. A monster move from 3D Max who stay alive in this map. A brilliant way to do it. Tech 9 double, AK scooped up, and a 1v3 converted. Could change things. Nico Manessi doubling up. Making a move in towards lobby, and they might just be able to catch something off guard. Mac is still on the other side with the bomb. He can't cross unless he gets some support. And back turns. Nico finds two. Manessi steps up for one of his own as well. And Exorcist will just tuck his tail between his legs and hide. That is the round. And that is G2 once again making this a one-round game. Pep talk I would give here is like, come on, man. We're good on the rifles. Look at how well we've been doing. The normal rounds, quote-unquote, we're all good. We let the eco get into our heads a little bit. We tested, though. For the most part, pistol should be fine on the swing. Gets one and the second, so it's okay. The big, quick flank has come through, and Hunter will mop them up. Easy double for him. G2. Eco. Oh, the smoke is... is late and what is going on man they're caught off by a flash i don't know if it was maybe their own flash there's no ct assist really weird situation maka though whoa, fighting as best he possibly can to pull them back in still g2 hold the advantage they hold control for number 12 
He's a little vulnerable. Has to keep double checking between the two angles. Could be caught on timing. Manessi gonna check. And yeah, gonna get it for free. It was all a timing play. Lucky could have got lucky, but at this time it's not to be leaving the youngster, the new boy on the block for this team all alone. Bomber is back, gonna make his way up then, and I'm sure a dead man walking. Manessi sees it off with second kill of the round, is 22nd in total. Takes a seat on that creep, and he will actually get decent room towards outside, and he might even just push in towards garage here. It's a good one for him, he should actually get some decent space, but gravity gonna be caught. And already it's feeling like it could be the beginning of the end. Hunter, ult, vent, Manessi, back sight. Flash will come round for Hunter to peak as that smoke fades. I think he's now a known quantity, though. And they actually just going to smoke him out. Swing behind it, gets caught. Maybe we're on, we'll see. Huxy, however, was on that flank. The AWP of Munasi stands strong. Oh, he can't land the no scope, but surely has done enough. Jocko, 10 seconds, caught with bomb in hand. And G2, pull it. Hunter with the jewelies. Oh, they're all round for him. He just can't get the headies fast enough and the B bomb site falling flat like that. Bomb plant gonna come in here now. Next uh, working his way around. He knows there's gotta be presence around that corner, and it's all a bait play at the moment. Too quick. Ah, uh, yeah, they shut him down before he even really gets going. Nico also just out of the round. It's Macker on the backside there. Finding a quick 2k and uh, an incredibly dominant pistol. Something a bit unorthodox. It seems to work beautifully for the Frenchman. I'm going to see the next two fall. Looking good now as they find their advantage back on the 3D Max side. Jocko. Back 10 in hand. Oh, he's getting baited in. Don't go around that corner. Don't go around that corner. It's exactly what they want you to do. Hunter trying his best to sell it, but Jocko going to wait for his teammates to come in. Nice find from Huxy. Just take the damage, take the gun away. Nothing Hunter can find. Still, really, really expensive round there. First line of defense, looking good. Trade is there, but only one of them. Not enough from 3D Max. Really, really solid move from G2 to rotate everybody in. Molotov. Come down as that bomb trying to be recollected. Manessi will fall. An opportunity with 45 seconds. Looking good. Well placed, Molotov. Ah, it's not quite good enough, though, unfortunately. Nico still around, drops the bomb. Even then, it felt like he dropped it at two seconds. I don't know that they would have had time to get the bomb down. I'm not going to lie to you. So I think round was kind of over anyway. But Nico denies completely. It will uh, indeed be G2 getting on the board. A lovely setup from them once again at middle. Pays dividends. And the smoke, Jocko. Just creeping through, but it's X to cease to find that kill. It's next to drops, maybe a chance. It'll come down, but actually avoided for the most part. As Nico met with a Molotov, gonna stick around in for the fight here, but he gets nothing off it. And now making a creep move. Lucky on the backside. We're going to find one. Manessi on the turn. Caught by a neighbor. Still alive. Not able to double it down, though. Two versus two. 35 seconds. On the bottom of the back of Lucky. It's Nico Basie, the main man to try and deny. Oh, shoulder. Spotted. Here's the second. He softened them both up. Split the difference there. It's Hooksy left to clutch up. Would be a hell of a thing. If 3D Max get this one over the line after such a great start for G2. Smoke comes in. What are his options? I think he's just going to look to go straight through this. Yeah, indeed. Oh, and there it is. The low HP plays a part against Lucky. But Exorcist, that is a confident peak with only 27 health points. He'll still win out the fight, though. Fair play. A little bit of a move here on the swing. Hooksy will find. I'm going to just cease trying to make a trade here. Drive by and we'll drop. Numbers again taken back by 3D Max as they want to pop towards A. There's two players here to meet them, though. Can he a pincer maneuver? Nico, what have you got for us? Nexa down low. Nico up on high. Gets the first. Looks for the second deleted. Sight vulnerable. Cracked open. I'm an SE left in a 1v3, but a salvageable one. Just look at the HP. Tested as much, you might argue. Oh, he's now spotted out, and they're looking to overwhelm him here as well. He can't find the frags. They escape him. The bullets just do not land, do not connect. Grouping up four via B here. About three from the CT side to meet them in just a moment. 
Models have come down a little bit too late. They're going to get out in front of it. Boss Gravity be the first to fall. Jocko and Lucky going to answer back. Huge kills. The orb shot misses. Vanessi met with Molotov. Has to just dip away. Nico double dips in himself via that smoke and we'll find Lucky for free. But the bomb should be able to go down here. A little tentative. Now the plan comes through. 3v3. Yeah, they are. They really are. This is good. This French side. Gun rounds, the low buy rounds, everything on this map seems to be working. This is, without a doubt, an absolutely rehearsed map from them. They must have seen, you know, having to have him show up as the big one. Speak of the devil and he shall arise. A double is huge to keep things back in their favor. And look towards there, they had a lot of success here, but Nico got a lot of other ideas. Round on. Hooksy being held by Maka with the AWP, and Maka might have just spotted the shoulder. And Maka don't miss. Not those. Getting loud, getting prowls. He stares down G2. Decent look. However, Gravity and Jocko will manage to open up the B bomb site easily. No real resistance from the G2 half by. This is so far so good. French Counter Strike fans celebrating. It's true. It is very true. We'll see here. They've got to pick up every single round going for a good five or six. Oh, what a shot from Maka. Holy hell. Nectar doubles over in rotation. Lucky's got to pull off something here. Spotted, dropped by the hands of Hooksy. A nade should do a lot, but it doesn't get the kill. Oh, Hunter. Big find from him, however. He's also got pressure on the backside now, so Gravity only has one way to go, and Hooksy says that is down. If they pop through this, this could be a death wish, and it might be. Manessi, make that too. Beautiful stop. AK scooped up as he wants more. It's a bad play. Never pop through a smoke in towards that guy. Insanely desperate play, it feels like, from 3D Max. I don't know that that is really required, to be honest. And yeah, just kind of continuing a bit frustrated across the board. They've got to be careful here. They really do have to be careful. G2 getting their claws in. It's a light grip at the moment, but it'll be difficult to shake them off. Nade does minimal damage to Exorcist. Lucky going to go down on the other side. Looking like that's going to be it for the round. A flawless one to finish it off. 9-3. They've got a kit here as well, Neo. This looks pretty good for 3D Max. Oh, a failed flash, though. Might make a difference. Nico not blind, and he should be. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is that? What? I'm so perplexed, but the round continues. The Julie's no keeping way. it alive. The kit gets on the bomb, but Nexa has enough time to clean up house. Holy hell. We have to see that again. That is the most insane flick I think I've seen this man pull off. Oh, my God. Really hard to play against these guys. What is the calling going to look like? Can the brain box of Lucky get the game going? A little bit of damage here. Not all that much, though. Mac 10s making plenty of cash. So drop a flash of his own to pop himself round, and it might just work. Nico is full blind. Oh, but gravity, that's messy. Reswing, Jocko, refine, and a tag on towards Manessi. Surely. A dead man walking in this situation. Yeah, he is seen off. Jocko, what a round. Four kills to his name. Maka will fall away. I'm sure he would have heard that tag on towards Hooksy, though, surely. But he's going to give him the space. Maka, reloading. I can't believe it. He tagged him, and I'm sure he must have heard it. But he will die, and Hooksy gets a gun. Tech now, I'm going to continue rocking forward and gets one more. I can't believe what's happening in this round. Trey, surely to come through, and Hooksy giving yet one more. Nearly even a fourth. What is this round? I'm shaking my head. I've, I've nearly got my head in my hands, so I can't imagine how 3D Max are feeling. Bomb goes down, and there's no they can do about it. Nico, insult to injury here. Going to find them both? No, look, he does. Giving his position away. They're slowly going to figure it out. you got to keep going, Lucky. You can't stop here. They're after you, mate. And they will indeed take him down. So, close to finding kills, but nothing on the cards just yet. It's the push around the corner for Lucky. An off angle from him. A double kill as well. Well adjusted onto that second. Sets up Maka through the smoke. 3D Max looking to get back on the board. Manessi now making a move. 2v4. 
Surely, surely going to be caught, right? Molotov comes down. Tunnel vision in, and yeah, Maka sees him off. Nice work. And next up, I don't really expect too much out here in the 1v4 with the bomb down. No real chance. He's seen up on Axis C's 3D Mark. I said that's the most important round we've seen out of them thus far in this map. And yeah, under a minute, Ryan, they've got to make a decision about where we want to go now. The shot marker. Trying to catch them on the cross, and he might get a second shot out of it as well. No immediate trade. The worrying thing is not exactly the greatest belts of util for G2. They've got one molly in the back pocket of Nexa, who is lurking out here. Should get one for free. He'll find Jocko. That might drag Maka away, but lucky he'll answer. Back and gravity will deliver. Nico dropped. Nexa, all that's left. And because he was heard, because he was seen earlier... But, yeah, they just weren't fully committing round, I think. Not sure of uh, who else was on the other side of Dark. Four versus four. Quick burst out on towards A. G2 for the game, then. Going to give it a good go on the A bomb site. Not looking good enough, though. Munisi all alone. He's got the bomb. He's been flanked out. He will be finished off. And 3D Max with a handy, handy victory there on Anubis. No sweat. And the rotor over in time as well. Lucky going to stick up close and spam a little bit away. He does get one. Manessi, huge find. He's tickling in the flames, though. He's burning. Lucky sticks around a little too long in the heat. Down he falls. Nexa. The gap in that smoke. Tap on towards the bomb. Not a command. Jocko sticking around. He's reloading and he gets caught. 1v1. Nexa's giving themselves a chance. It's Nexa Cease rotating in via coffins. Just where his comrade has just fallen. And now he's crossed as well. Nexa looking for the 4K clutch. Exorcise looking for his first. And this is such a strong angle for Exorcise. Because he's crossed, because he's managed to slip the net. Nexa's is not going to expect him to make this plant very difficult. Oh, bomb out. Tap goes down. He's looking though. Nexa ready. However, Exorcise has got the upper hand, tags him heavily and just gets him off that bomb. No need to rush into the fight here. Playing it really, really well. Closing the gap and takes him down. Nexa with a fair try, but just not able to do it in the end. The pistol success continuing here for the French side. We'll end up backing away four versus four once the dust settles. Quick boost up here on the B-bomb site itself. Nico contacting around, hoping for a peek to come his way. Checking all the angles. The double stack is deadly, however. Flash over the top. Is successful, but not going to hold them back completely. It's a little messy in the end. Two versus two, though, looks pretty good here for 3D Max. Nexa, Manessi, holding, waiting, but damage dealt. Yeah, Manessi will see it off, and so will Nexa. Really good round in that post plant for G2 to see off. Very, very important. Ball things that you, like, touch, and it, like, changes the direction. Plas like, the only, like, plasma balls, what they call some of that? Like, like... I'm not sure. I'm not something sure. like that. Yeah, CS I don't mean like, like science museums. Yeah. I was, ooh, ooh. Thanks for dropping. <laughs> Good night, Nico. See you next yeah, round, well, mate. The, speaking of Tesla, sort of, you know, they share a name. Yes. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am reaching. No, no. I am reaching. Now we're cooking. Next. Now we're really cooking. Yeah, yeah. This is, uh, oh, I come off decent exit frags here. I mean, they're getting upgrades. We're going to, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. Ah, a wonderful observer, Jonas, as as, as mentioned, that it's a Tesla coil. Oh right, is the yeah, thing, is the thing, the is. thing with the, the yeah, with, yeah. Uh, I mean, why yeah. wouldn't it? Why wouldn't yeah. it? Back into four versus four, and Lucky's got to try and do it all here, and he himself gets his head just ripped off his shoulders. And B9 isn't able to drop the bomb, and that's probably the last chance here. They are just going to save what they've got. Famas and the AK of Maka and Exorcist, they are in no way making a move over. for this 3D Max side. This is what we talked about, though. This is where it gets kind of strange, eh, economically speaking. I mean, if they'd, you know, echoed things out yeah. and gone for the follow-up buy, they probably would have been fully spending as well. Oh, it's so tough with the X-ray. I don't think there is anything to spot there. However, it goes south for G2, but an overswing from Maka gives it back for just a second. They've got a brief window here to isolate Exorcise in on the site by himself. 
Makes the rotators harder. They do not want to throw away this opportunity. Exorcist. Keen angle from him. In for the double. Should be enough. Nexa all alone to clutch up against three. Flash comes round. Exorcist will get it done. And 3D Max, thanks to the individual prowess of the young gun, get it on the board. Hang on to may have heard that. Oh, but Maka posted. Hunter will get the kill. Maka gonna get his though. Falling away. Huge. Playing up towards the pillar. Look for a second as well. And he's gonna hit it. My god, this could be a Maka round here. Jocko will deliver and Jocko doubles down. Oh, beautiful. Hunter left all alone, reeling, and I'm pretty sure Exorcist has just seen him. No, he didn't, but he'll see him off. Nonetheless, only the one casualty. That is not bad. Not quite catching where that was, I would guess, in the apartments. Yeah, the X right underneath him there. Hooksy spotting out some shadows here, though. Could go either way. Very, very messy indeed. The flashes back from G2. Super effective. Maka misses out on the shot. The gap now closing. He's got to be careful here. Absolutely cannot go down if they want a chance in at this round. He throws in the flash. He goes for a no scope. They're trying to track him. Meanwhile, in Banana, the flank coming round as this round is just not letting up. Munisi for one, not quite the second. But he now knows where they all are. Trade is instant. And Maka, tail between legs, has to give up the round. The end of things, so that'll be that. He'll hold for the exits. I don't think he'll be giving them. Hunter, of course. As the orbs say, the Nico is AK as well. Nice and simple. G2. And the Molotov did, did tick, so he would have heard that info. Nade comes round. He will be tagged, but he dibbled, doubles away, may I say, as they start to make their way on towards that side. He's slowing things down. He's trying to. He's under a lot of pressure. Gravity can't really help via the smoke either. Time ticking. And he will go down to the nade. So will Gravity leave an extra seat of it all to do. 1v2. The bomb not planted yet, but it's tough. G2 ready to go on the A play here. Maka's got to be careful. Oh, Nico! No. You can't be serious. <laughs> I think they'd heard, like, presence. Maybe he's just returning spam, but finding both is unreal. Gravity. Edge of the smoke, though. Oh, and all the carnage and chaos. Hang on, and, hang on. You know, let's go B. They're both <laughs> dead. They get caught on the extremities, and it is Gravity what? who keeps a hold of the B bomb site. Just so disjointed all over. That's a wild way for it to end. G2 will be kicking themselves. I'm with you. I agree. I really think, uh, you know, while it's been kind of scrappy and quite chaotic for the most part, taking seven is huge and starting off like this is a massive way to go. Bought it! Nico looking for three. Oh my God, Nico. This is ridiculous. He's looking for the ace, but he denied right at the tail end. Oh, that could have been the most special of aces again, right? Back-to-back -back days, but all in all, we'll happily take a 4K. Got G2 three rounds away from taking it, and it feels like for G uh, for 3D Max, they're trying to force it a little bit, and they're getting caught. So much utility damage, so much done. Jocko, Lucky, Maka also down low, and Hunter making sure to put them six feet under. Lucky, very lucky indeed not to be dropped there, back turn, but Hunter... Double away and I'll give them the space. 10 seconds left. They're too far away to really make a difference. I drop in these AKs at the end. Does look like Hooksy can have a little look in towards Banana, but he won't get far enough towards spawn to make a difference. So, G2 within two of the map in the series and moving on to the quarter finals against Maus. They really are capable of an awful lot. And here on Inferno in particular, we're seeing that in spades. Hooksy going to be the first to go down, but he knows what's up. He's doing his job. Getting baited, ultimately. It's Hunter that comes around with the double on the corner. Nico holds it cleanly. And the Cousins Kovac leave it down to Exorcis. It's such a simple setup as well for G2, and it just works perfectly. Yes, Hooksy dies for the cause, but then, like you said, right, the setup by Nico, by Hunter, is just perfect. Anybody who peeks going to get caught. Hunter's spam is brilliant. Everybody gets through that smoke. He's caught by Nico. Exorcise making a little move here. 
I don't think he's going to get too much fortune. Any way he goes on towards the site, he will be caught. If he doesn't clear CT effectively, he should be a dead man walking. And he's already in a lot of trouble. The spam is uh, it, it's a miss, but XSC getting one. Not the worst thing in the world with how low he was. Not the most impossible thing. Once again, trying to make their move up in through Banana here. Hooksy can take a lot of damage. Hooksy's probably a dead man walking. He is struggling. Will get the smoke down just about in time. They've got him though. He's there. Off the back of the flash. Nico can only get one. Hooksy can trade. Stitch around for two. Talk about a time to step up. Brilliant. So needed. Now into a two versus four. 3D Max are in trouble. And I don't know what he's got in the locker with how low he is tagged. The setup, the 2 2 split, like you spoke of, should be insurmountable. And it is. Down goes Exorcise. Down go 3D Max. It's G2 who take the series 2.